Hi, this is Rich. In uh, about the middle of October, it's time to start thinking about the pop can heaters again. And um, I took and um, mounted my uh, third one plus my fourth one together here outside the laundry room. I'll show you real quick. And uh, Got them mounted right here, and I just um, teed them together. I'm just going into the uh, laundry room window so I can test that. And I just have a fan and stuff inside there. But I'm going to start building my uh, big one for the bedroom. We'll show you that. Now this is going to be my uh, fifth one. It's be kind of big. There's my glass, and um, I got that at the restore for five dollars. And <laughs> Here's my box. It's about 34 by 76 long, I believe. And all I did to make the box is just uh, build it right around the window. And that way my window will set down in there. And I uh, put my insulation. And actually, this box is going to set. It's going to set long ways like that. So I can take advantage of you know what little sun I get. So my columns, my headers will be the long part, and my columns will be um, up and down, short columns all the way across. And here's how I do my can. This is just uh, the top can. I just cut um, four slots. I just take the razor knife, cut it down, and bend them back. I'm cutting four slots in them for the top. The top's cut out. I got the hole in the bottom. And all you do is take your, have them slots and kind of line them up with the, uh, with the big corners of the uh, downspout. And you just push them in there. And then all I do, I'm actually sealing off the top, like right here. Seal it off. And I don't know if you can see down there, you can see your, your corners in there. And that way, the bottoms aren't sealed. So the air that's inside, outside the cans, should be diverted should be diverted into the um, into your header. All right. Another thing um, I'm not going to do. I'm not going to. I'm not going to mess with the top. I'm not going to cut it out. I don't see no reason that you have to cut it out because just by if you cut a hole in the bottom, you got holes in your bottom, and you're setting them on top of there. That air, you're slowing the top's going to slow the air down enough because it's going to slow it down when it hits here. It has to go through the small hole, fill up here, and then go through small. I think that'll be enough. Uh, enough. Uh, all right. Now, after you get your um, after you get your your tops all done, you just can flip it over, and then you can just take your can and um, just fit them and, and stuff it down in there, and put another can. And just keep stuffing down in there. And um, leave a little bit of room for your last can. And what you do is is turn it up this way so you have this end, the top end, coming out. Because that way it snaps in your hole. But you want to put it in there and have a little bit of, you want to have be able to have a little bit of play. So that way you can lay it into your box and you can just pull it and snap it in. And it works real easy that way. Now, um, I found this piece of aluminum. <clears throat> I'm not sure what it's used for. But I'm going to lay it down as a backing. Okay, I put my metal piece down and um, just painted it black. Now you don't have to use any metal, but I just uh, my theory is just a, it just gives it a little more mass to collect the heat for your box. Now you can put sheeting down if you want to. I put flashing on that fourth one. Now my columns, just set your columns in there where you want them. Just take your marker. Kind of mark it, just mark it around there. And that gives you a, you know, a point to put your hole saw. And then you just drill it out. Okay, when you drill your holes, you use, um, on my other video, I, I was saying it was a two inch, but it's actually, it's just a little slightly bigger than a two inch, maybe um, two inch and an eighth. So you want to check it with your can, but just stick it in there.
got your hand, your hole, and you do the other one. And once you start doing your hole, after you get them done, you just take your top can, and it'll snap right in there. Okay, once you um, snapped it in, your bottom, that's why I say leave a little bit of play in them so you can move it. That way you can just set it down near your hole. And what I do is just take a little screwdriver and give it a little push and it snaps right there in your hole and then you got a nice secure okay here it is all painted just ready for the glass and uh, if you notice I am I'm coming out the side with my output my headers here and um, I'm doing that because I'm mounting this away from the house and I'll have to pipe back to the house but as you see both headers will be exposed to the uh, the sun too so the glass so everything should be heating up all my metal should be heating up now if he's going to uh, come out the back and you wanted to use a downspout I would have used a um, use a three inch downspout for the header because that give you a bigger hole at least give you a three inch hole you could cut in the back or if you wanted to you could use the um, do the gutter like I did on that fourth one and that gives you plenty of room to cut a four inch hole if you need to but anyways just left to put the glass on there and um, test it out okay I drug it outside and I set the window in there I didn't seal it but I'm getting good sun today so it's a good day to test it in the um, temperature it's chilly this morning you can see that it's at 41.7 it's been out here about 15 minutes and uh, it's at about 150 right now okay it's been about a half hour as you can see it's over 180 degrees that's cool and the outside temp is still 40 and now it's 42 degrees and it's early it's like about 10 30 in the morning so I'm gonna let it go for an hour and we'll see what it does okay it's been almost an hour temperature has rose it's uh, 43 point five in my temp in my can is just topped over 200 degrees <laughs> that is so neat and I don't have the glass sealed or anything because I'm off site and I gotta take it home it's too heavy for me to carry with the with the glass I gotta take the glass out and then load it and then load my thing it's a good day to test over 210 right now okay it's been exactly one hour you can see that it's at 210 freaking degrees I'd say this is a good test so I think exposing your headers and everything to the sun helps a lot I mean this is the highest temps I got it's going over 210 right now it's, it's probably 211 that is incredible okay it's been like an hour and 15 minutes if you can see that thing 220 degrees man I didn't think I'd get this hot that is very cool and I didn't, you know, and I didn't cut out the top of the can. So I just put a hole in the bottom on this, on the uh, middle one, so you don't have to do all that crap. But, anyway, good test. Okay, now that's been a great test. It's still at 220, and after I take this home and mount it, I'll do an update video. Now I might, I don't think I'll get that kind of heat that I'm getting right now because I'm in full sun here. But, you know, I got the trees to filter. But, anyways, that's proof that, you know, there's a lot of stuff you don't have to do. In these short columns, I didn't even use, there's only 105 pop cans in there. And I'm getting that kind of temp out of that with the downspouts. That's the only way to go. Thanks for watching.